Hello, this is Jolly Gaming Panda, and today we will be playing Indigo Disc DLC to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So, let's see, now we go through a lot of dialogue, and now we could challenge about four of these characters, Crispy Crispin, because, you know, Fire Crispy. Gotta be his nickname. And I'm just gonna call her Ama because I don't even know how to pronounce her <laughs> name. Ama Reese. I guess that we could just call her that. She uses steel, he uses fire, and then over here we got Drayton who relies on dragon type Pokemon. And this girl, Lacey. Who relies on fairy type Pokemon. And since she is closest to us, we're gonna go ahead and see if we could challenge her. The only problem, apparently we need BP in order to challenge these characters. And I probably don't have enough BP to be honest. But we're gonna just see if we don't have enough BP. If the game will just tell us how much we need to break up in order to Okay, let's see She's all the way over here Well, that's a bit far Oh, and I can't wait till Coridon could actually fly because apparently both Coridon and Maridon could actually start to fly in this game, in the DLC. So I can't wait to be able to fly with Coridon. That'll be a huge step up from gliding. It'll be awesome. So we're getting there. We're getting closer to Lacey. So let's save and see if the game will actually let us challenge her or not. Welcome to the Coastal Plaza. We're the team that supports Miss Lacey of the Elite Four. And you're Pokestar, right? One of the BB League challengers? That's right. You'll need to... Hand over 50 BP if you want to take Gum the Elite Trainer here. Are you ready and willing to pay? Looks like we have enough, so sure. You paid 50 BP. Thank you very much. Duly received and noted. We need you over here, Miss Lacey! Coming! Oh, if it isn't Pokestar. I'm so glad you decided to pay me a visit. Please, follow me. I'll show you to the trial site. Oh, that's right. We gotta complete a trial first, and then we get to battle her. Just like you would with the gym leader. Thank you for challenge. I mean, thank you for coming to the Coastal Plaza to challenge me. And I really am sorry for the way I protested you joining the BB League, Pokestar. Of course, it's true that this is quite irregular under the bylaws of our school clubs. But mainly, I didn't want to see you get dragged into the drama that's been troubling the club lately. I suppose our trial has already officially begun, though, so let's get to it and have some fun. The trial that I came up with is a Pokemon quiz. Oh, I should ace there. I'm a Poke nerd. I'll ask you five questions about Pokemon. If you can answer them all correctly, then you pass. I shouldn't mess up on this. Are you ready to attempt my Poke Quest, Pokestar? I'm ready. Great, then I'll just get everything ready. 
two. Test your knowledge in the Pokemon quiz. Pikachu. All right, here we go. And look, it's everyone's favorite Pokemon Pikachu. Here to help. And with that, question one. Pikachu is an electric type Pokemon, well known for producing electricity within its body. But in which part of its body does it store the electricity it generates? I think I know. Go right for the body part that you think is correct. I think the cheeks. Cheeks. Yep, I knew there. You got it. Pikachu stores its electricity in the electric sacks in its cheeks. If you poke the sacks, you'll get a little shock. But don't you think they're just super round and cute? Now then, I think we're ready to move on to our next quiz question. Oh, I love this fluff ball. Take a look at Venonat here. It's bigger than you think it would be, isn't it? But it's also fluffy. I love this one. It's Actually, as far as the Kanto region goes, this is one of my favorite bug Pokemon. It's so fluffy and cute. And I'll be ashamed since I adore this Pokemon so much if I get anything wrong. It's all- it's so fluffy and squeezable and terribly adorable, really. So here we go with question two. Even on the darkest of nights, Venonat is able to use a certain part of its body, like a radar, which allows it to detect surrounding objects. Oh. What part of Venonat's body acts like a radar? I bet the antennas. Go right for the body part you think is correct. I really think the antennas would have to help. What? Oh, that's close but incorrect. I do see why you'd think that, though. I'll give you a hint. What we're looking for is quite a large part of Venonat's body. Now guess again. A large part. So... Eyes are pretty big. There's no way it would be the hands. Hands are tiny. Mouth's tiny. It would either be the feet or the eyes. Could I do the eyes? Let's see if eyes... Okay, yeah. Second try, second guess, we were- that worked. That's right, it's Venonat's big eyes that serve as radar. Isn't Venonat even more adorable when you think about how it sees a whole world we can't even see? Oh, that Venonat's adorable. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to our next quiz question. Question 3. Getting weary of my quiz? How about a cup of tea? Or maybe these three Sinisty siblings? Here's question 3. Sinisty like to live in precious antique teacups. But there are a lot of phonies out there. It's hard to tell which cups are genuine antiques. One of these Three Sinisty is an antique form Sinisty, meaning it found a real antique cup. So which Sinisty has the real deal? Hmm. Is this like identifying the difference? They all really look the same to me. Wow, they all look the same. Um, is there really a difference? 
I don't see any difference. Which is an antique form, Sin? Hmm. I see no difference. That's the only problem. I'd hate to just pick a random one. Mm, they all look the same though. Mm, I don't know. Pretty stumped. Is this one slightly taller of a cup? I'm just gonna have to guess. Looks like that turned out being the right one somehow. <laughs> you spotted it. That's right, an antique form synesty can be recognized by the mark on the bottom of its cup. Oh really, I didn't even notice. <laughs> that doesn't matter whether they're antique form or phony form. They're all so darn cute. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to our next qu quiz question. Is it gonna get harder from here on out? Ooh, pretty. This is the Meteor Pokemon Minior. It comes in all kinds of different colors, you know. Yes, but I remember, I think this Pokemon was in one of the 3DS games, and I had a blast collecting all the different colored minim miniors. I'll first ask you to take a good look at this pinkish minior for me, okay? Hmm. I think I know what she's gonna ask me. She's gonna ask how many spikes it has, cause it's moving around quite a lot. Hmm. Think five spikes or Oh. Oh, I know what's going on. It's right here. I'm good at these. You did it. Even after they return to their meteor form, you still manage to find the right one. Aren't many are adorable? Their coloration varies based on what they eat. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to the very last quiz question. Good. Oh, final question. Oh look, here comes Granville. Maybe it heard the word pink and decided to stop by. <gasps> Wait! This is the evolution of Snubble! Does this mean Snubble is in this DLC? I hope so. Because, um, my friend really likes Snubble and I was hoping this DLC would have a Snubble so I could catch them one. So... They heard the word pink and decided to drop by. This little sweetie is one of my own Pokemon. It all, it's always with me. Our last question, question 5, will involve Granbull here. Granbull is a quiet, delicate, and lovable Pokemon, of course, but you can tell me this. When I take a nap with my adorable Granbull, which part of its body do I use as a pillow? Mm, of course the final question is gonna be a trick question. I would automatically think the belly. I mean, surely you would not use its ears like a pillow. Wouldn't that be like crushing its ears? Um, I mean, 
mean, it has a round belly, so why not? I would be concerned if you used the ears. Like, why would you crush your Pokemon's ears? I'm gonna do tummy, and if that's not it, I'm gonna guess the ears. Yeah, cause tummy would be most comfortable. It would be have to be uncomfortable to rest your head on their ears. That's exactly right. I used that soft, adorable tummy. When I cuddle up to it, it's so soft and cozy. We both fall asleep in just seconds. And that's the end of my quiz. Good, we survived. You managed to get all five of my questions right. Which means, congratulations, Pokestar. You've officially cleared my elite trial. Meaning I could battle you now. This was actually a fun trial. I liked the quiz. That was pretty fun. Why don't we head back to the plaza? And then we could battle. Since you passed my elite trial, you've earned the right to challenge me to battle. But what do you want to do now? Ready to move straight to it? Yeah. That'd be fun. Got it. No time to waste then, right? Let's get to our positions. Okay, this should be about far enough. Let me properly introduce myself for this. I am Lacey of the Elite Four. I really didn't expect I'd get a challenge from someone like you, Pokestar. Rightfully, you do belong to a different school. Honestly, I'm still a bit shocked, but I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of our battle. So, uh, let's see. First of all, I should tell you I mostly use fairy-type Pokemon. There's just nothing like an adorable pink fairy, right? They're weak to poison and steel. Anything too caustic or cutting just doesn't suit them. Oh, but you must already know all this, right, Pokestar? Now, for this battle, I'm not going to hold anything back. I want to be sure you walk away with a proper understanding, after all. You're about to learn that cuteness is real strong. Good thing I have my cute little baby Fukoko with me. But if this ain't a double- Oh, it is a double battle. Nice. Well, I got a cute little Fukoko with me. This time, I'll be facing you with my usual party as a member of the Elite Four. I like these double battles. This makes it really exciting. And I just like double battles because your Pokémon gets to work as a team. And you get to do a ton of different kinds of strategies that you usually can't always do single battles. Your Pokemon could just work as a team, you know? It's, it's pretty cool. Let's go! Not very effective, but does enough damage it could get the job done. Oh, and of course that was super effective. It's a rock solid strategy to go after weakness. Indeed. Of course I'm gonna go after weakness. We gotta win this. Wait, Coridon, you're not supposed to be getting defeated. But that's okay, we have plenty of supplies. Hmm. We could maybe try having Haxorus battle. There you go, Haxorus.
Am I Moonblast? Okay, we need Karidon back. A good thing I could rely on Fukoko. Yes, I could switch out to Annihilate. Oh yeah, we need to really bring back Karidon. Karidon is our big cheese of this battle, after all. There we go. Crydon will be back in battle. I had a feeling Annihilate would get annihilated in battle. Okay, once he caught is defeated now. There you go, Fukoko. I knew you could be. So now we got slow bro. It's the Galar form. So in the next episode, we will be defeating Lacey's Pokemon team in a exciting battle. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was enjoyable. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment.